Hi, I'm Katri Lindfors and I do biomedical and translational research on celiac disease in the Celiac Disease Research Center. Celiac disease is a disorder in which a protein component called gluten present in wheat, rye and barley induces changes in the structure of the small intestinal mucosa. In the long run, when a patient with celiac disease eats gluten-containing cereals, the normal small intestinal mucosa that looks like this will turn into something like this. The disappearance of the finger-like projections, called the villi, leads to reduced absorption of nutrients and several other problems, including the appearance of various gastrointestinal symptoms. The majority of us eat gluten-containing cereals daily and we get away with it just fine. There is a distinct genetic component that is needed for the development of celiac disease, but there are yet unidentified factors that also play a role. And one of my research focuses is to identify what these factors are. In celiac disease, the body starts producing antibodies against an endogenous human protein called transglutaminase 2, and these antibodies are actually also among my research focuses. The antibodies can be measured in serum and they are commonly used in the diagnostic workup. But I'm investigating whether even improved antibody-based measurements can be developed. Simultaneously, I'm studying whether these antibodies somehow contribute to the development of the small intestinal mucosal damage and also how they do that. Thank you.